All right, so this is the free program editor program, pixlr.com slash editor. So it's got these tools um, similar to Photoshop. Um, I prefer Photoshop, obviously. I have the whole creative, creative suite. We've got Premiere, you know, Lightroom, the whole nine yards. Um, super many, like super good tools. But if you need a free program to use, this will work. Um, it is essentially the same concept. What you want to do is create put all of the images onto one image with uh, like six or seven different layers and how we're going to do that is I, I organize them when you bring them into Pixlr it kind of organizes them kind of a funky direction this way to where you have the first one selected you can't see any of the ones behind it so I organized them just by dragging them around um, and putting them where I wanted that way I could see all of them all you know all at the same time so I'm gonna select image two I'm um, gonna control a Control C and go back to image one and control V. There we go. See how that works. And then I'm going to rename this layer one. That way I can keep it all organized. Okay. And then go back here, zoom out, I think is what it was wanting me to do. So I control A, control C, go back to the first one, control V. Now I've got one, two, three layers. One layer, or first layer, second layer, third layer. So rename this layer two for organizational purposes, and then go back to layer, this can be layer three, and then zoom out a little bit, control A, control C, first layer, control V to paste, can be layer three, and uh, see, it's kind of, this is a, this is why Photoshop's a lot nicer because it keeps them all organized at the top rather than this cas cascade effect looking thing. It's kind of funky. Um, so I think I've got, I think I'm on this one. Um, so control A, control C, back to the original. Oh, lovely. Okay. Shockwave has crashed. So that was cool. All right, cool. So uh, as you saw, Shockwave crashed uh, just a moment ago. So Another one of those things where you're using a free photo editor, it has its glitches, whatever. Um, it is a software that you can use. It is awesome, you know, for what you need it for. So I want you to take a look. I, I kind of did all the legwork ahead of time. Um, reference the, before the little block out there. Um, I was doing com control A uh, to select the entire picture and then copied that picture onto my, my first layer. Now if I deselect all of these, you'll kind of see what I have going on here. And I don't even want this history, so I'm just going to open this up bigger. That way you can see everything that's going on. I don't need this navigator. I don't even, you know, just get that stuff out of the way. I've got all my layers here, all the way up to eight. So as you see, that's layer one, or rather layer zero, layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five, even though it says layer six, it's I think I missed layer three, somewhere in there. Either way, um, it just keeps going and you've got your whole sequence. It is rad. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hide all of these and work on layer one. That's the first one I wanna work on right now. And before we even get into the details of this, first things first, you need a, a tripod like a sturdy tripod um, with a good fluid head, something that you can really lock down or ball head that you can lock down and it won't move. You also need a remote shutter. That way your hand is off the camera and those are like 15 bucks off of Amazon. Um, I just bought one of the, like I have a Canon camera. I just want bought one of the non knockoff, you know, China, China brands. It works great. You know, 15 bucks. If it doesn't work, throw it in the trash. It's 15 bucks, whatever. Um, but all of mine that I've purchased have been great and they work fine. They work great for time-lapse pictures too, but it, it allows you to get your hands off the camera so that the shakiness goes away. So that doing this, the sequences, it all lines up perfectly once you just copy and paste the images onto the other. So the first step, and this is the same step for every single, every single image. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Do, do, do. I got Josh in a good little 
uh, spectrum here and I'm gonna use the I think I'm gonna use the marquee tool I think that will be the best tool to use so I'm gonna highlight everything that I want um, including the snow yeah everything I want including the snow up to there and then select invert selection so it selects everything except for Josh and then I'm gonna delete and see what happens. See on this layer, that's the only thing I have showing. Control D to deselect. And Josh is hidden behind layer one. So what I'm gonna do is grab my little eraser tool and start erasing. So let's adjust this. I want my hardness at 100%, uh, maybe like a 50. That might be good there. Um, and then just go ahead and start erasing. And you will see Mr. Josh Werda comes out of the woodwork here. I don't know if that erase. Zoom in a little bit. I, I gotta zo get, get zoomed in real tight. That way you can know exactly what you're doing. Um, you don't make any mistakes here. And, okay, I want a little bit of his hand. I'll erase that. You can't really even tell. City or maybe even a 30 just to kind of get some get rid of those hard edges that you have you know it, it, it's passable um, it really isn't ideal I actually think I'm going to erase all of the snow so this may take a minute so just uh, I'm gonna fast forward So that's layer one. So you're going to do the same thing with layer two, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's go ahead and show you uh, layer two. So um, go ahead and select that layer. Look at all that snow. I'd love to include all that snow. But the fact of the matter is it's going to cover up the other Josh Warda uh, unless you get in there and erase every little snow bite, every little bite of snow. If you erase every little one of those things, then you'll, you know, you'll get what you're looking for. Um, but it takes a lot of time. You know, you could bust one of these out in like 15 minutes um, with you know, fairly little effort. I think I'm gonna use this lasso tool now. I kinda wanna see what, oh, that was a crazy line. I kinda wanna see what this does. It'll be super mellow around the edges. This might actually be a nicer tool to use to select the item that you want. Okay. Now, right click on it and invert selection. Now, that is going to select everything except for Josh. And then we hit the delete button. And look at that. We've got three, one, two, three Joshes so far. Super quick. This is super quick and easy. All right, guys, so I'm making the video. Um, I stopped about when I was almost done, um, primarily be because it, it, it failed again. It said shockwave, shockwave uh, failed, so um, I just quit. And you know, you got the gist of it. So um, good luck to you. I will answer any questions that you may have um, and try to help you the best I can. So um, yeah, uh, Bean Eagle signing out.